In this tutorial, we'll be creating this digital send effect to reveal any text, and this can also work on some logos. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start off with creating one composition that is 1080p. We'll call this main. And let's create another one that is a bit taller, so maybe 1500, and we'll call this text. For now, we'll be working in the text comp. Let's create one saying whatever you want. And by holding control, I'm going to double click on my anchor point here to align this to the center and go to align. So it's aligned to the composition. You don't have to do that. I'm just used to it. Okay, let's go ahead and add a solid here and name this fractal. And add a, yeah, that's correct, fractal noise. How did you know? Okay, let's go ahead and change the type to dynamic. And we'll up the contrast here to about 250. Under transform, let's unselect uniform scaling so we can individually scale the width and height of this fractal. Let's set the width to 50 and the height to maybe 220. 250 should be fine. Okay, let's go to the beginning of our comp and drag down the brightness until we see a black screen. Once we do, let's set a keyframe for it. Move it to about four seconds. And let's drag it up until we see a fully white screen now like so. You can do this however you want to, as long as it goes from black to white. Let's go ahead and pre-compose this layer, and we can go ahead and hide it. Select our text layer and add the first effect that's called Set Channels. Now here under Source Layer 1, let's select the Fractal layer we just created, and make sure the first Source layer is set to red. This should be on by default, but just in case. And let's go ahead and add the effect that does everything, which is CC Ball Action. Here we're going to go into grid spacing and set it to 0 and maybe the ball size to 90. Now as you can see, the fractal we created is affecting this layer. And if we go to the twist property here and set this to red and give it some angle, you can see we're getting this cool digital effect here that we can now work with. Let's go ahead and set the angle to negative 250. And this is exactly why we made the comp a bit taller, so we can now position the text higher. And as you can see, it does this cool effect transitioning from send basically into our text. Now, as you can see, once the text is fully transitioned in, we still get some pixelation here and it's sort of transparent and we don't want that. So what we can do here, let me just extend this, is duplicate our text, remove these effects, and let's hit T for opacity. So set a keyframe from 0 to 100. Let's drag this out a bit. Select it in F9. And right about when it's nearly complete here, I'm just going to drag these out. So we're basically filling in our text once it's fully complete. Now another thing you can do this just so it's not such a bland text is add a gradient. So right click on your text, layer styles, and we've got a gradient overlay here. Let's open it. Let's set this to minus 90 here and maybe drag the offset here and the opacity to 70. Again, this is just something that I do to make a text look nicer. And I'm going to select the layer style here and copy it to our digital effect as well. So it's matching. All right, let's go ahead and pre-compose everything. And we'll rename this comp to base duplicate it and call this glow. Let's move our base layer a few frames forward here and we're going to hide it for now. Let's select our glow layer and add an effect called difference matte. Now here under layer, let's select our base layer. Let's scale up the tolerance to maybe 80. And by doing so, we've basically isolated a small section of our animation here so we can add a glow to it. If you want to decrease this or increase this, you can move the first layer here, as you can see, or up the tolerance, depending on you. Okay, let's go ahead and add a tint effect to this. And we'll make it light bluish. And add your favorite glow to this. I'm going to be using Deep Glow. You can use the default one as well. And unhide the base layer. And as you can see already, we're getting a very nice digital looking effect here. Maybe let's go ahead and set the glow layer to additive. Now let's go into the main comp and drag the text layer onto here. Let's enable the grid 
and we're gonna go to where the animation is complete and drag this to the center here. I'm gonna do this pretty rough, but you get the point. And now if we go to the beginning here, we still see some of the glow. So if you want to, you can maybe scale this up and drag it down. Let me just make sure it's in the center. Yeah. So this is basically the reason for a taller composition. So we can now drag it in here and without scaling it too much, have the effect in the center or wherever we need to. Now, a very important effect here is motion blur, which makes this look pretty smooth as always. So let's go ahead and add a pixel motion blur here. And as you can see, it just makes everything look much better. Here's with and here's without. Now, the only other thing here is I've added some background and maybe some camera movement, but this is pretty much the effect. As you can see, it's pretty easy to do and looks great. Now you can do the exact same effect with the logo, but as you can see, the only downside here is the first layer turns red. So you have to cover it up by applying the original logo on top, just like we've done with the text. I mean, again, this is still pretty cool, so I can work with that. It really depends on you. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.